Hey, what's up guys? I got a fun one for you today. We're gonna be talking about 10 weird slash interesting facts about Baton Rouge and the surrounding areas. So let's get after it right now. living in Louisiana. If it's your first time checking out the channel, then welcome. Uh, before we get going, go ahead and subscribe and click the notification bell because every single week I'm putting out videos just like this one where I'm talking all about moving to and living in the greater Baton Rouge area. And in case you didn't know, I am a licensed realtor in Louisiana, so I'd love to be your resource for all things real estate related. Check out that number that's on your screen right now. I'm the guy that replies to every single call, text, or email that comes through, and I love having these conversations with you guys, so don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything at all that I can do for you. get right into it so fact number one is Baton Rouge has the tallest state capital in the United States so the previous record holder was Nebraska at 400 feet tall but the governor at the time Huey P Long said hey hold my beer and he proceeded to have a 450 foot tall state capital building built in Baton Rouge oddly enough the governor was actually assassinated in that state capital building a few years later Side note, we'll call this 1A, but aside from having the tallest state capital building in the U.S., we also have the longest continuous bridge in the U.S. The Lake Pontchartrain Causeway stretches 28 miles from Metairie, which is a suburb of New Orleans, all the way up to Mandeville in the North Shore. Fact number two, Louisiana doesn't have any counties. We tend to do things a little different in this state, so we're one of only two states that don't use counties. Why do you have to be so difficult? In Alaska, they have boroughs, but in Louisiana, we have parishes. And this goes back to the state's founders, who were some French and Spanish Catholic guys. And they used parishes to identify the local government units. So when the first official state map came out, we had parishes, not counties. If you say so. Fact number three, New Orleans gets super overcrowded during Mardi Gras. If you're not a big fan of crowds, you're probably going to want to avoid New Orleans during Mardi Gras. At the last census count, the population of the city was about 384,000, but about 1.4 million people flood into the city to celebrate Mardi Gras every year. It's crazy! Now, when I was younger, I used to love this. I'd be right in the middle of that crowd on Bourbon Street going crazy. But now, you couldn't pay me to go. But it really was a fun experience and probably something everybody should do once, and people come from all over the world to participate. Now, sticking with New Orleans, fact number four, there are no open container laws that prevent you from drinking in public in New Orleans. Just do what you want, I guess. Baton Rouge, along with most of the rest of the state, makes it unlawful to have any open alcoholic containers in public. But there are some areas that encourage public intoxication. Welcome to New Orleans. In most places, when you order a drink from a bar or restaurant, you can't take it out with you when you go. But here they're going to serve your drink in a plastic go cup or bottle, and you can take it with you. Especially during Mardi Gras when everything's super crowded and the lines are long for drinks, I would suggest getting two and double fisting. But even in New Orleans, open alcoholic beverages in your vehicle are not allowed. And that takes us right into the next point. Fact number five, Louisiana has lots of drive through daiquiri shops. So the first one popped up in 1979 in a little town just outside of Ruston, Louisiana. But now you'll find them all over the place. And it kind of goes against that open container thing because you have a frozen alcoholic drink served to you in a styrofoam cup with a plastic lid and a straw. So how do they get around those open container laws? It's simple, they put a piece of tape over that straw hole and we're all good. Fact number six, Louisiana is the second wettest state in the US. So on average in Louisiana, we get 60 plus inches of rain a year. And sometimes during the summer, it feels like it rains every single day. But we actually rank second in annual rainfall behind Hawaii. And I was surprised to hear that. In my head, Hawaii just has perfect, beautiful weather all year long. But apparently that's not the case, so I'm gonna have to stop forming my opinions based on what I see in movies. And speaking of movies, let's get into fact number seven. Louisiana is also known as Hollywood South. The Sportsman's Paradise is the official nickname of Louisiana. The state's also known for some other things and has picked up some new nicknames along the way. Louisiana's gotta be a big player as a movie and TV filming location. It's called Hollywood South due to the diverse settings for movies, uh, the generous tax incentives for film producers, and uh, the tons of production support businesses in the area. Celtic Studios in Baton Rouge is Louisiana's largest film and TV studio. It's opened its doors to some major motion pictures and TV series that you've probably seen. <laughs> Fact number eight, Baton Rouge got its name literally from a red stick. 
Baton Rouge is actually French for red stick. So the story goes that French explorers found a blood-stained cypress pole near the Mississippi River Bank. Supposedly this was the dividing line between two Native American tribes that split up their hunting grounds. Now that old blood-stained stick is long gone, but there is a statue on Southern University's campus that marks the spot where that original stick was found. Fact number nine, there are a lot of famous people from Louisiana. Some of these I knew about, but when I really started digging into this, I was shocked at just how many famous people are from right here in our state. We'll start with some of your movie and TV actors. Anthony Mackie from Captain America, Carl Weathers from Happy Gilmore, Reese Witherspoon, Ellen DeGeneres, Randy Jackson, Stormy Daniels. And if you don't know who she is, good for you, and don't Google her. Then we get into some of the musicians. You got Tim McGraw, DJ Khaled, Lil Wayne, Master P, Juvenile, Britney Spears, Lil Boosie. I don't even think he goes by Lil Boosie anymore, but he'll always be Lil Boosie to me. You got Jerry Lee Lewis, Trace Atkins, and Hank Williams Jr. And we get into some of your athletes. You got Odell Beckham, Terry Bradshaw, Peyton and Eli Manning, Tyron Matthew, Clyde the Glide Drexler, and Carl Malone. And that list just keeps going and going, but because of time restraints for this video, we gotta cut it somewhere. And fact number 10, Louisiana is only one of two states that allow casino style gambling across the entire state. Now, of course, everybody knows Nevada where you've got Las Vegas and Reno. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not comparing Baton Rouge to Vegas or Reno, but we do have some legit casinos in the area. And all across the state, you'll find some truck stops with video poker machines, so you can scratch that gambling itch anytime you need to. All right guys, so that's my list. If I did miss anything, I would love for you to chime in in the comments and let me know. If you haven't done it yet, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of these future videos where we're talking all about moving to and living in the greater Baton Rouge area. And don't forget, I am a licensed realtor in Louisiana and I wanna be your resource for everything real estate related. So check out that number that's on your screen right now. Every single call, text, or email comes directly to me. And as much as I love making these videos for you guys, I love even more to help you with your real estate needs. So if there's anything at all that I can do for you, it doesn't matter, days, nights, or weekends, shoot me a call or a text and let's get that conversation started. I hope everybody has a great rest of your week and I'll see you on the next one.